Here we have uh, one out of the book, and we're estimating the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x dx. And the f of x is a mystery function. We don't know what it is. So um, I'm going to just use three rectangles here, three divisions. Your uh, left-hand sums are here. here and here and when you do those for the left you get your 16 times 1 8 times 1 4 times 1 which is 28 so the green bars get you to a sum of 28 and using the right Riemann sums for three intervals um, and then you're going to have these rectangles. And those areas are 8 times 1, 4 times 1, and 2 times 1, because that's it's 2 over there, so this height is uh, 2 right here. Okay, and when you add those up, you get 14. So a good method is to just average those two because you can see the green one in this case is an overestimate and the red one is an underestimate. So why not just average them together? And that's actually going to be later called in calculus 2. It's going to be called the trapezoid method. But for right now it just gives us a good, a good estimate of the actual integral. And it's left Riemann sum plus right Riemann sum divided by 2, just the average. You get this here. It's 42 over 2 is 21. So the answer to this problem is that the integral from 0 to 3 of the function is approximately 21. But I wanted to see what an actual integral would really be, so I entered the points 0, 16, 1, 8, 2, 4, and 3, 2 into the uh, site I showed you for the Lagrange uh, interpolating polynomial. And it gave us this function here, which is not necessarily exactly the one that was graphed in the book, but it looks pretty good. It definitely fits all the points and had the same shape. So just as curiosity, the actual integral from 0 to 3 of that particular function was 20.25. And by doing left and right sums and averaging, we got 21. So that's pretty good. That means our averaging method uh, zeroes on pretty well. It uh, does a pretty good job. So anyway, the answer to the problem is 21, or something close to that. And this true value I'm calling up here was just um, a curiosity to see what would happen if I fit those points with a curve and actually did the uh, integral for real.